Hello Liberty Ben. Last week I said I was going to talk about video editing. Today I want to take that video where I said there's five different parts to your video and I want to show you how to keep the parts you want to keep, get rid of the parts that you don't want. There's probably two parts of every video that you want to get rid of unless you're very good or have a remote control or something. If you have your face in the video, there's probably a point where you lean forward, hit the start record, and then when you finish, you lean forward again, and you hit the stop record. A better video will have those two little things trimmed off, so only the important part in the middle would be what you keep. So in my five little parts of the video, this would be like trimming off number one and number five and keeping two, three, four. Then there's another kind of video where right in the middle of the video, you, you, know, you do something that you goof up and you want to take that middle part out and keep, let's say, two and four, but get rid of three. First off, let me do something. I just made a really loud noise. I'll give you a reason why I made that loud noise when I edit the video. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop into YouTube now with this video, and I'm gonna use that really loud noise to identify the part of the video that I wanna get rid of. So it'll be easy after the fact to get rid of. So if you ever goof something up, and you've got a five minute video and you need to get rid of 10 seconds, just clap your hands really loud. It'll make a spike in the sound uh, format and it'll be easier to identify afterwards. So now I'm gonna take this video and I'm gonna upload it to YouTube. So I am assuming that you're gonna use YouTube, which is by far the best way to get video to your students. In this whole COVID-19 crisis, YouTube has not gone down for one moment. It's incredibly reliable. Once I get my video uploaded to YouTube, I'm going to go to the studio. Here's the URL that gets you to the studio. Studio.youtube.com now you have to be logged in as your account so that it goes into the right studio if you have multiple accounts. Like see you had a personal account and a school account. You want to make sure you're logged in as your, your teacher account to go into your teacher studio. Select the video you're going to edit and then go into the editor. There's a link that tells you you can trim the video. When you click that, you get handles on the ends of the video. So like I said, if you want to get rid of that part, where you're pushing the record button or when you push the stop record button, you can trim that video down so that it starts where you want it to start and ends where you want it to end. Now here's the thing, you're gonna upload it to YouTube anyway, so all you're doing is making the video a little bit better with no additional work inside of an editor or anything like that. Now let's go back to that clap that I had. That was right after a little flub that I made, and I want to get rid of that flub. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split my video because I want to keep what's before and after those two segments. And once I split it, you can see right here is the peak. I'm going to go to that peak, make my split, and then the two pieces can be trimmed independently to get rid of that chunk in the middle where I had a goof up. Tomorrow, I will show you ways to transition, let's say from two to four, so that you don't have a jump cut. A jump cut's where you just chop a segment out and push them together. You might be okay with that. That seems to be a trend on YouTube. All these people who make a living on YouTube, all their videos are completely full of jump cuts. But if you want to have a video that doesn't have one of those abrupt changes, I'll show you how you can do that tomorrow. We hope that this makes all the videos that you make at least 1% better.